Hey everybody, let's get right into it. Um, if you remember, I passed a door at the beginning of the game when I couldn't lockpick level 2 doors. So I am going to try to get back there. Um, I haven't seen any like enemies that respond so far, but I do know that there are tougher dudes out there, so I'm not I'm not sure what's going on. We'll see. But hopefully, like, just go past all the knocked out cedars and go back to that door. Come on, Dex. Oh, come on, Dex. There we go. I knew I could do it, but... Yeah, here we go. Ooh, that's new. I also see a guy that's alive. Hold on, let's... Can I just shoot that, please? Oh, lordy. Oh lordy. Okay. Wow. I popped the camera, but I went down like a ton of bricks. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. He knocked me out of the area with five hit points left. Um, take a full heal. Let's just take a full heal. This will be fine. All right, and then let's reload our gun. All right, let's go. Just get ready. I see you. Come on. I know you're there. Oh, come on. Shoot him again. Oh, I hate these guys. They're the only ones I haven't really been able to manage. They're just, they're good. Okay. There. Ooh, that's not great. That dude's got some Winter Soldier arms going on. Oh, and he just did a something. He just did, s okay. So this may be not great idea. Yeah. All right. Um, let's retry. Um, let's try to be sneaky, shall we? We got this far. So let's sneak in here. There's still nothing going on in here. Is, is there? Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Alright, so like... Let's get out of here. Alright, so that's not helpful. What if I... Oh, he sees me. Alright, what if I just do them one at a time, though? It's like this guy? Not a big deal. Ooh, except when he does that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I'll save scum my way through these fights. I don't care at all. I was born and raised when there weren't even auto saves. Here we go. All right. So now, I should be able to get up there somehow. Can I? Okay, so I'm definitely going to do this, just to see if I can... Don't kick me out, don't kick me out, don't kick me out, don't kick me out! Okay. Well, good enough. Now if I sneak. I can strangle my least favorite type of enemy. Well, that thing is still on. I didn't get it turned off. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, cut. Okay, it's hacked. Go. My focus is not like... Oh, I see. It takes time to recharge. And I was trying to hack one thing and then another thing immediately after. Okay. So how do we get up there where that dude is? Like this? Uh-oh. Can we... Let's just go away from that dude for a minute. Alright, let's just have our little break, and then let's go back over here and rehack it. Does that make more sense? Yeah. I think it does. Because I don't want to get shot by this turret while I'm shooting that dude. 
Can we please go? Okay. Nice. Okay. Can you please stop making a squeaking noise? Ha <laughs> Suck it, Winter Soldier. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Hold on. All right. That's half his health at least. All right. Um. Punch. 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 Yeah. When he does his little his little hammer smash, you just just get out of the way. See, these guys aren't terrible. A little tougher, but not terrible. All right, we're doing awesome. We're out of gun ammo, though. So that's definitely a thing. I'm going to heal up a little bit. Let's drink our crappy items. Save our other health kit. Um, What's in here? More bad guys, possibly. Can we use this thing to scout? We can. That is awesome. Okay, so that'll get me closer to a camera that hates me. Um, yeah, let's worry about this first. Oh, crud, 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 crud. Oh, did you guys ever play a game called Power Up Forever? It was a, oh, crap. Every time, every time. All right, hold on, let's just... Let's just do some let's just do some cleanup here. So yeah, so for Xbox Live Arcade, I think, and possibly Steam, but I know for sure on Xbox Live Arcade back when that was a thing on the 360, there was a game called Power Up Forever, and it was like a weird, infinitely recursive game where you just like continued what you were doing. Um, and it just was like I don't think it was procedurally generated, but it was sort of quasi-random, and I just got wrecked. Alright, let's just Okay, let's just, just stand back here. Let's just chill for a minute. Um, but yeah, Power Up Forever, I played a ton of it. It was weird because, like, you'd, you'd play for so long and your ship would kind of evolve and it would go from, like, a single cell to organism to, like, a thing with little file eye that propel it. And then it would just, like, keep getting stronger and you'd keep getting more and more power ups. It was an interesting, it was an interesting concept for sure. Um, this game is kind of reminding me of it. I have to not get hit by that. Oh, I need a better side weapon, too. Go, go, go. And I've discovered that if you fail the hacking attempt completely, then the stuff respawns, like the ice or whatever. Whatever you want to call the spinny blade thing. That is definitely a thing. Um, okay, so let's clean up a little bit. I sure hope you paid to watch me play that twin-stick shooter Titanfall that I played a million years ago. Okay. Get in here. <sighs> Crud. I like how I fell down and got back up, even though I'm like, actually, I, hold on. Can I become better at hacking? Because there was definitely a skill for that. And AR, I can stun humans, and I really want to see what that does, so I'm going to do that. Just who the heck knows. Um, right. Let's get in there and get that thing. I'll just get these guys before they get to me. Oh. Alright. I'm really bad at this. I am so bad at this. You suffered 50 HP of brain damage. <laughs> All my life. Okay, this is a better this is a better random thing, because I can kill that before it gets to me. I can die from a random thing. I'm gonna die of brain damage. That's what's gonna happen. I need to just set down the controller for a minute. All right, hold on. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna, yeah, give me back some focus. All right, so now we're gonna try again with like half a life bar so that I can actually get touched and not be an idiot. Okay, so just get through that guy. And my controller is old and it kind of is off center and that's really making this harder. All right, um. Just hack it a little bit. Just, just, just don't get locked out. Just don't get locked out. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Gotcha. Oh, here we go, for sure. Get out of AR right this minute. Awesome. 
Okay, what's in here? Oh, this is that other door that I already came out, Ben. What are you doing? Okay, so this has got to be... There's, you know, like, Lorraine's back. She's got to be, right? So let's use a couple of these. Let's use that. Let's go check it out. Oh, great. So actually, scanning in AR doesn't really help. Because it doesn't show you if there are people there or not. And she is definitely back. You want to fight Super Lorraine? Let's do it. Someone be taking a real wrong turn. Oh, yeah? Showing up down here again? Yeah. That's some brain drain there, guy. Well, what? I do have brain damage. Thought you done me dead? You be seriously underestimating your shit. Enough talk. I'm in the mood for Terminal. Amen to that. This is Terminal 1. Please have your kick ass ready. She is so extra. Oh, she does more damage now. She hasn't learned any new tricks. It's just the battle of attrition. It's like fighting your little brother in Smash Brothers. Just only knows one move. Ow, okay, okay, I take it back. You know two moves. Just this is your close range one. I wish ooh, I wish I had a gun. Oh, okay, that hurt a lot. Man, at some point I'm gonna have to admit and just get some combat skills. Like, this is crazy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die. Hold on. Let's get a let's get a healing item out. We only have this med kit, but let's take it. So that would have been it for me. Slap, 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 slap. Oh, it's a slugfest of the century. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. I like that one. That one lets me get a hit in. I got you. You ready? Yeah. I got Lorraine's key. So that op probably opens his door back here. Which is going to make my lockpicking level 2 not as useful. Great. Narrow stims. I'll take them. Mysterious substance. Cedar's outpost key. Pack Lorraine's PC. Ooh, boy. This is a little tense. Alright, alright. Our first run on cyberspace and it's in a sewer. How fitting. Alright, so that's a power grid node. I'm just gonna shoot that up. Cause then it'll do something. Oh, yeah. I'm a cheater. All right. Now, where'd that other blob go? I don't know what they called that, but like that was like these are viruses, and those other things are like system countermeasures. Like, yeah, what is that? Are those Trojans or something? They are really fast, so I'm just gonna keep shooting and hope for the best. Okay, let's just aim gently over here and hit this turret a bunch of times. Uh oh, okay. That's awesome. I can fire I can kill them from outside their range. Alright, um that's where I came in, so let's go over here. That's definitely not open for business. Let's go this way then. There's so many of them. Jesus, stop spawning more viruses. It's like I typed free DBZ into a freaking search engine and this came out. Alright, cool. I do really like the little creepy crawler ones that just don't basically don't go anywhere. That's pretty cool. Get into it. All right. Lincoln Park Torrent. Dot e x e. Okay, I cannot go around that. Let's go find what else we got to do. 
There's got to be something keeping this system open. That maybe? Maybe popping that will do it? No, it doesn't look like it. There's another one though. Can you please come here? Gosh, they're so fast they outrun my shots. Okay. Can I go around it on this side? No. Well, what in the butt? Oh, did I just shoot that to death? Let's read the data. What do we got going on here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, what's that about? I got a visit from one of your employees. Finch something. Apparently he wasn't in the loop. Started asking questions about your deliveries. Nosy guy. Wasn't sure what to do. He was being unreasonable, you know? So I thought I'd do you a favor and cover your ass. Ask my guys to, you know, silence him. Could you use some care so that shit doesn't happen again? Dear Relaine, I wish you would have informed us of Mr. Finch's presence in Harbor Hall before taking such drastic action. We could have found a way to handle the situation differently. We do appreciate your sense of initiative, though, and indeed make sure no such incident occurs again. Ha! <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, let's go over here. Can we just shoot this to death? Yep, you just shoot through them. Okay. Delivery receipt. Ingredient K vials. Okay. Those things pull you toward them. That's what was going on before. Thank you. Can I just give you the key to my office? Be easier for you next time. Your office. I'm here to remind you this is my game, says Seifer. You work for me, and yes, I got the key. Don't you blow me. Yo, low. Alright, I think that's everything that's in here. It's a pretty small subsystem. Let's log out. Oh, nope, there's this. When's the next batch coming? I'm a whole lot of the last foods you gave me. Gotta keep them coming. It only goes fast as biofarm techs deliveries. You and your goons have to do is distribute the food. On our side, you have to go through each package and spice it up, you know? So that has to do with that drug lab that I busted up. Who you calling a goon? Without me, nothing would get done. Let me know when it's ready. I'll send the guys to pick up the boxes. So this is interesting. I'm gonna log the heck out of here. Very interesting. That is not the super powerful gun that I was hoping for, but it is in fact a drug dealing plot that we've already sort of broken up. I mean, we did definitely hit him where the sun doesn't shine. Can we just skip out of here? No, we're in combat. Wait a minute. I don't want to be in combat. Can I in combat? Oh, just map cannot be used from this current location. Okay. Beep boop. So they were taking food deliveries from BioFarmTech, and they were redistributing them with street drugs put in them. That's what we saw before. They also committed murder on a dude that came to check on them, which I guess makes sense, and the company covered it up. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know what this information does to help us, but... Wait, what is that that I have? Uh, Cedar's outpost key. Oh, sure. Ingredient K, I'm not tasting it. Lorraine's key. New garage code. Sewer shaft key. Oh, yeah, that's fine. And I guess that makes some kind of crazy sense as to why they would attack us on site, because they are in the midst of, like, you know, drug dealing for their lives, or whatever. So, let's get the heck out of here. Um, now, I am definitely low on supplies and flush with cash. Let's go back to Hank's shop and see if we can, um, you know, do something good.
Uh, that was in the Chinese Quarter, right? Yeah. Hank. What up, buddy? How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? I found a silver watch. Give me that to look at. Hmm, early 1960s, I'd say. Scratch here and there, but nothing to bring on a moan. Some composite or another. With silver coating. No name brand, but a good looker. I like it. Pretty thing. No rarity, but buyers come looking for these. Can give you 400. Sell it elsewhere, you're liable to get no more than half. So what do you yours, say? Bud. Deal done. Your money. Stop by again if you ever come. Sure, how about this how do pipe? You pretty? Ah, a dandy piece. Handmade. Well cared for. And this shaping goes back to the first half of the last century, it does. Uh-huh. I propose to you 200 credits. Fair deal? Sure. All right. Here's the money. Good call, buddy. All right. Let's sell our other junk items. How do you, Purdy? Let's sell one of these two guns. The one that has not committed murder. Um, let's sell those because they're not great. Um... Get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna keep those because I I don't know I don't really want to give street drugs to my homeless friend because that just that's just awful. But I would like to see if I can. How do you burn this? All right, what else we got? Even range skill level four, a magnum. Let's do the magnum because I can actually wield it, and then let's buy a bunch of let's buy a bunch of ammo. Um, Hank, buddy, where's your ammo? Are you out of ammo now? He's, How do you? You're just full of all the stuff I sold you and not actually giving me any bullets. Well, I guess that's fine. You can come back later. So I've got, uh, what if we equip this guy? Got six whole shots. Great. All right, thanks, Hank. Uh, I think that's all we can do with that. Um, I guess the next piece is the Chinese Quarter. Go see if we can talk to that other doctor about who's messing with upgrades. Hey, this is Sam Shaw. Let's talk Hi about there. You. Feel free to browse. What you see is what I've got. You're Sam's friend? Or you're Decker's friend, Sam, right? Did he now? Well, it's a friend who comes down another friend's path, as Grandpops used to say. Welcome, welcome. Everything okay? You seem troubled, although I can't tell. Well, look at you. A mind for good eyes if I ever did see. I do have something nagging at me, you're right. My accountant was supposed to deliver my sales report a week ago. And I'm in some straits wanting it, I can tell you. Maybe a good one if I heard it. But gentleman Mr. Finch has taken it upon himself to go all unreachable on me. Not the first time, granted, but I'm fast near the point of making it his last, I can tell you. He's got a full-time job, granted, but it's the pills I blame, I swear. Ever since his divorce, that man's been up and down more than a yo-yo on a pogo stick. Actually, I'd be happy to throw you a few hundred credits if you dropped by his apartment and gave that fool a kick. Just a friendly one, of course. Um, yeah, where should I find it? Finch lives near Fixer's Hope. You know it, right? Apartment 112. No one home last time I checked, but you look like the lucky sort. If he's out, ask around his neighborhood. He's known around those parts. Yeah, I'm also looking for antidepressants. Really? Oh, well. It's the prettiest flowers that get pissed on when a dog comes by. Take a look. You'll find some somewhere. See what you got. Oh, cool. I can just buy a bunch for my friend. Um, um, there's some Knock 12 ammo. Let's buy that. Yeah. Uh, get those for him. Hopefully if we get him actual antidepressants, that's better than like giving him some janky drugs or something. Let's get a bunch of those. There, I think that's pretty good. All right. Howdy. Real pleased to be seeing you. I found your sales Well, report. slap me down in Syracuse. 
You did it all. Nice job, youngin. That'll save me more headaches than a husband's lobotomy. Here's the money I promised you. So what was Finch up to? Did you talk to him? Uh, no one was there. I had to break into his apartment. <laughs> Not one for half jobs, are you? But that's odd. Finch's movements vary about as much as a 5'11 to Harbor Wall. Where the hell could he be? Ah, well. Got what I wanted. If you bump into him, you let me know. Yeah. I'm curious what he's up to. Well, I know what he's up to. Finch is the guy How that got... How do you, stranger? ...that got Happy. wrecked on. Like, he's dead. But I don't think there's much I can do about that right now. Um, wait, how much? She gave me $200. All right, perfect. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, yeah, hey, that's a kebab house. Get some kebabs. Welcome. Ah, Thistle Blue, your hair. A symbol of nobility and of pride. A commendable choice, miss. A padicious choice. It adds spice to your youthful beauty. Uh, with a heavy dash of leave me alone. I told you guys I was going to quit this game if somebody else flirted with me, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm tempted to let the kebab guy get away with it. Ooh, and the prickles come out. Fast food, you say? Not here. Here, I humbly strive for the standards of my father Issa's traditional preparation. Please, let me show off just a little taste of my kufte kebab. Bedava, for free. Don't be shy now. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, do you like it? <laughs> what is ah, this? What is this she decor? Likes yeah. It. Here's the menu. All right. Uh, what is this? Ah, yes, miss. A green thumb I have. A passion for the nature. My little island of color in a graying world. <sighs> Everything is genetically engineered these days. So sad. It is like we put Mother Nature in the back room and told her she can't cook for the guests. Never imagined so much love could go into a kebab. Miss, now you flatter me. I try my best, it is true. I use only natural ingredients, all natural. I grow them myself. At least, I did. You did? My last seeds, I use today. You taste them now. A sorry day. The corporations, of course, Biofarm Tech and their patents. <sighs> Monsanto in the 22nd century. How can you patent fruits, vegetables, spices? Yes, even spices. They say I cannot grow cumin. That cumin is patented. I must buy it from them. And then I go to their stores and they don't sell the seeds, just the cumin powder. Something about health and hygiene, they tell me. But how can you make real kofte with powders? In packets, all the flavor gone. <laughs> no appreciation of old Adana cooking. I wouldn't be against stealing you some seeds, buddy. Oh, I could never ask you to take such a risk. These people, these people, you prick them with thorns. They shoot you with lead. But of course, if you ever happen to stumble upon a bag or two of human seeds, I'd happily take them off your hands. Happily and generously. I'll try my best. All right, all right. I don't really need a kebab right now. I just bought like 10 bed kits, so I'm good on that front. But, uh, everyday guns. That's, is this to be the boutique gun shop, I guess? Maybe he'll have magnum ammo? Hey, what's up? A good day, and welcome, miss. I'd like to invite you to peruse some of the finest lethal and non-lethal equipment in Harbor Prime. Everything you see here is available exclusively here, not elsewhere, at all. Okay, what about another gun store? Some guy called Hank? <laughs> oh, that old tin kicker. Save a penny, lose a face. Now, <clears throat> I've heard that he makes weapons out of spare parts. I mean, who's ever heard of a gun made out of pieces? Anyone who's ever owned a gun? Mm. Look, all you need to know is that these here weapons are factory direct, okay? Okay. Quality assured. Oh, yes. It's true that some customers are prepared to put savings before quality, but you seem to be much more of a, um, a discerning type. Am I right? Now, anything I can get you? Let's look. An EMP gun? That's cool. Here. 
Water Shade Cloak, which runs you invisibility. That's pretty cool. Magnum ammo. There we go. So I can only buy one set of cartridges. But, yeah. Alright. At least I got enough ammo for my Magnum. Um... Island from Charlene. Exalta. Well, Aphrodite for me to pick up here. Mr. Johnson will see it. That old hag. Okay. What is going on here? Stop sending me flowers. But you're 14. Get a crush on someone your own age and stop calling me Carla. My mom used to call me. How do you even know that? That's creepy and weird. So this is Charlene's house, I guess. I feel a little bad breaking into it, but not really that bad. She was kind of mean, but whatever. Um... I'm just gonna, like, hack some stuff. You know, get money, acquire currency. I can't hit the front side of a barn, though. Get out of here with that. I'm just taking hits like crazy. I'm about to get dumped out of here. Just watch. Okay, we're, we're just. Yeah, we're calling it. Hey, man, what's up? Hey. Timmy Larison? Cheer up, kid. Chasing the wrong girl? What? No. Nothing like that. It's, it's my mother. Is someone the wrong man? She's... dying. You know, every beggar in the city has a line like that, right? Beggar? No. Look, if you don't believe me, come in and see for yourself. Alright, take me to your mom. It's cancer. Of the spleen, they say. She needs a new one, but it's real expensive. Here. This is my mom. Mom? Timmy? Who is this, dear? A lady. From the outside. I thought... I thought maybe she could help. Just maybe. Is she a doctor? Are you a doctor? I'm real sorry. But we can't pay a doctor. She is. She's not a doctor. How much do you need for a spleen transplant? Um, around 700. Okay. We have some savings. Okay. So 500 would be enough. Okay. We understand. It, it, it is a lot of money. I can't help you just now. As soon as I get better. But I will come back. Just You just chill here for a minute, all right? Ooh, I don't want to be on top of that. Okay, that was scary. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just in here. Just stealing people's stuff. Well, there's $100 right there. No big deal. Can we go to the ground floor? Get out of here, please. Um, oh, I, actually, I want to... Okay, so he's standing right outside that. I'm actually... I'm going to go sell my street drugs. And I'm going to get them the money they need. Um, whatever, dude. You need a spleen transplant? I'm going to hook you up. Hold on one second, though. I'm not going to Afterlight Boulevard. I'm actually going to end this episode here. Let's deal with Timmy and his mom next time. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.